So in terms of the Fauve period, we start with Matisse's Woman with a Hat. This is first exhibited in the 1905 Salon in Paris. This work was at the center of a controversy that led to the christening of the first modern art movement of the 20th century, Fauvism, where art critics are looking at pieces like this, looking at the use of color, and associating it with this very primitive sort of approach, this idea that the Fauves are wild beasts without the necessary civilization or the necessary skill to use color properly. Now, Woman with a Hat marked a stylistic change from the regulated brush strokes of Matisse's earlier work to a more expressive individual style. He's using non-natural colors and loose brushwork, which contribute to the sketchy or unfinished quality, something that also made this somewhat controversial because people wanted to see or the more conservative side of the art spectrum wanted to see something that looked more finished. So this seems shocking to the viewer of the day, not just the use of color, but also this sketchiness. Now the artist's wife is the subject of the painting and she posed for this half length portrait. She's depicted in an elaborate outfit with classic attributes of the French bourgeoisie, the French middle class. We see a gloved arm holding a fan and an elaborate hat perched atop her head. Her clothes are in these very vibrant hues that are purely expressive. However, when asked about the color of the dress, Matisse's wife was actually wearing when she posed for the portrait. The artist allegedly replied that it was, of course, black, which means, again, we have no association between the actual color and what we're seeing. So compositionally, it's conventional. It's We can recognize this as a portrait. Sketchy though it may be, we all recognize it's a human being. We see this jarring use of color. So why are we seeing this jarring use of color? Well, what he's doing is he's creating a psychological portrait. Uh, something that is going to speak to who his wife is, or at least who she appears to be to him. Each of these colors that we see, uh, for example, the red, which I'm doing with a red pen, so it doesn't work great, but the red, orange, gives us a sense of passion. The yellow, uh, this sense of cheerfulness. The green, maybe a sense of uh, jealousy. And the blue, this slight sense of sadness or melancholy. Uh, pink being... Uh, sort of a warrior's color. It's a little different. It's not a feminine color at the turn of the century. It's actually associated with boys. Uh, that goes back to the Romans and is a whole nother ball game. Now what gets more interesting, we see these colors in the face and the neck, but the outfit. We see this predominantly white, almost shawl-like form uh, that we get across uh, much of the painting. And that white form is rather interesting because it could give us the idea that she's very innocent in public. Uh, her, her public face is very innocent, but privately she's something very different. Uh, and that would be privately specifically to Matisse. So you're starting to see how this is interpreted through the artist's eyes, not through the spectator's eyes. It has a message and a meaning for him more than it does for someone who might have commissioned it or, or someone else who's seeing it. So we've got these very biographical details in these works, and that's going to be something that's going to continue, not just through Matisse and the Fauves, but through other movements.